we're just gonna talk about two topics that keep coming up in the, in the comments section. So the first thing is, are we gonna have children? So I put together the bike last night and just put all my stuff on it. I couldn't get the pedals off of my bike, off my old bike. So I actually have to ride to the bike shop, get them to basically snap the seal on it. So it's like they're just so tight and sealed there. Get them to snap it, um, then I can come home, then I can take them off myself, put them on this bike. But the wheels on this bike, they have like these stickers on it and I really don't like it. Oh geez. So I researched last night how to get these stickers off the rims of bicycle wheels and they typically, the, con the consensus was to use heat to get it off. So just kind of like peel it off and maybe I can use some rubbing alcohol afterwards and just kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm interested to see how this turns out though. All right, so I've got three of them off. Nine more to go. So I've got all the stickers off, but where the stickers were, um, there's still some glue there. So we have some rubbing alcohol in this spray jar. Why do you have this in the spray thing? Okay. So I'm just gonna spray some of this on there and just use a little bit of paper towel just to rub it off. All right, paper towel, bad idea. Just gonna use a rag just to rub it off. Maybe I'll try the scrubber. Thanks, Hannah. So what I'm having for breakfast is white rice with the tortilla soup. That's a lie, you had hash browns. I had hash browns this morning, which you'll see on Hannah's vlog, right? This is lunch, babe, it's like- This is- Okay, I've been missing <laughs> It is lunch time. So this is my second meal of the day. So this is white rice with tortilla soup on it, which is in uh, rots and whatever. And then half an avocado diced on top. As Hannah would say, yummy nummy. So yeah, we're gonna take the bikes out for a little bit of a bike ride, just to kinda cruise the area. Um, we're not gonna go up Mount Lemon. So we're gonna change it up a little bit. Are we gonna change it up, Bubba? He just said yes. Anna is freezing her tits off. All right, so we're going out, obviously, for a bike ride. No surprises there. <laughs> oh, we're actually really just, we're gonna go for a walk, carrying our bikes with us. <laughs> yeah, I'm really trying to fill you. So we're just gonna go for a quick little bike ride. Just, um, we're not gonna go up the mountain, we're just gonna cruise around the Catalina foothills a little bit. See what kind of little hills are there. See what's happening over Keep there. The so you guys can come along if you want to. Don't put have to. Put your helmet on. Yeah, put your helmet on. Oh, snap diggity. Oh yeah! So this is a really beautiful area. There's just a lot of traffic. It's not really quiet roads over here. Hannah's just gone in for a potty break and we're just trying to... I don't know, I'm trying to find some roads where it's like there's not very much traffic but there's like a hill. So, we'll keep searching around. So we're going on our bike ride, and I wanted to get a new setup for my bike. And so we went to the bike shop and then... <laughs> Found out our bikes, our, our, our shoes, shoes didn't fit us at all. Like, I got my shoes at REI when I bought my Scott Contessa because they were the only shoes that they had. Derek bought his shoes online. Like this guy fitted us to a T and With we, ended up, we yeah. ended up getting new shoes. Got new cycling shoes, new bikes. We're done with buying crap for our bikes because we literally have everything that fits. Yeah. It's, and like, it's like night really good. But the problems that I always had with my feet, like I heard other girls saying like that their feet always go numb and that they have problems with it. He said the number, the only reason that that happens is because your shoes don't fit. Yeah. That they should be specifically like tight in certain areas. 
and that it shouldn't happen. We've got new shoes. We'll see how it goes tomorrow on the yeah. road. What do we ride? Like We're just an hour? Ride up. Yeah, we rode for about an hour or so. Just easy. Just yeah, just just <laughs> easy. <laughs> just easy, bruh. Done with bike stuff for a long time. We figure since we just got everything like the best that was within reason, obviously. We might um, as well have shoes that don't screw up our knees and our feet and yeah. our circulation. So. so we're good for five or ten years with bike stuff, so just getting good stuff that fits properly and then good we're, to go. We're, we're good to go. Hey, Baba. All right, so we just got back from the bike shop, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut some potatoes up, put them in the oven, and then we're going to take these little guys over to the puppy park because they've kind of just been chilling all day, so... Let's do it. And I get to use a potato slicer again. They know what it looks like from last time. I want to show them. Okay. I think it's awesome. Alright, potato fries are in the oven. We are puppy park. at the puppy park. All right, I think this vlog is gonna be kind of weird and scattered and not very well put together. So I think we're just gonna talk about two topics that keep coming up in the, in the comments section. So the first thing is, are we gonna have children? And the answer is no, because we already have two children and I've had a vasectomy. And we don't want kids. I couldn't imagine having kids. Like I know some people that love their children. It's the best thing ever, but it's like, that's how I feel about the dogs. Yeah. And they're hard enough as it is. Like, we're gone yeah. all the time. Like, we're always out doing stuff. We're working on stuff. If we had a kid, like, we couldn't go cycling up mountains every day and, like, just roam around and move every six months and mm -hmm. work online, like, as much as we do. Like, we wouldn't be able to put so much time into doing what we do, doing daily vlogging and all the yeah. other videos and all the stuff that we're yeah. working on to help you. Um, Which is like the most important thing to us and then also yeah. just like nurturing our relationship because it's true Like having kids is tough man Like you have to really take care of like your partner and like nurture that relationship and your child mm -hmm. and like do what's best for them And then try and take care of yourself and it's just like <laughs> it's a lie, right? So yeah, we're just eliminating one aspect from it It is a quite permanent decision because I got my vasectomy like two and a half years ago so it's just like it was a quick procedure, only took about 10 minutes to do, and I didn't have to go under anesthesia. Under anesthesia? Anesthesia. Anesthesia. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. Like, I, like, it wasn't super comfortable or anything like that. It was kind of like a weird experience, but I'm glad that I had it done because it was quite painless. And we can have sex whenever we want. And we can just do... We don't have do... to worry about it. Like, we don't have to think about it. Yeah, when... no condoms or, like, birth control or anything no like hormones, that. Hormones. Like... Yeah, so it's very easy in that regard. Yeah. And then people always say, like, well, what if we want a kid in the future? It's like, we would adopt a kid if we ever did. And even adopting a kid is, like, a shit ton of money, right? And like, work. Like, it's just, like... We don't want kids and like a lot of people just can't wrap their heads around it, but we can't wrap our heads around having kids. So it's yeah. like... We see, like I see people like with two or three kids and I'm just like, like that is a lot of work. Like that's your whole life. Yeah. A lot of times people like their kids are their whole life. Taking care of their kids, making yeah. sure their kids like do good in school and like have friends and like... Taking them to soccer practice and, I get it. and like, that's hockey some practice. Like, and that's some people's like dream, but our dream is to like help as many people as we can. Like kids just do not roll into that mixture for us. They so. don't roll into our like minimalism, like yeah. traveling, doing whatever the f we want. Like yeah, it would just it really wouldn't work. The other question that we keep getting is about Ra Ra, our cat. So Ra Ra was adopted by actually somebody who follows us on She's YouTube. Our subscriber. Hey Kayla. How's it going? How's Ra Ra doing? <laughs> And like, people don't get it. She was miserable with us because the dogs picked on her like crazy. She was always hiding. We'd forget we even had her because we wouldn't see her for like a day or two. And then we'd be like, holy crap, there's a cat. Like she was always just like hidden and terrified. So mm -hmm. Kayla has said, she's like, she's so happy now. She's always out playing with her toys and cuddling and she's never hiding. And she's just so much happier where she is now. Like mm -hmm. she would not be okay in a 400 square foot apartment. Yeah. And she wouldn't be okay traveling across the country or moving around all the time like we do. So it's just, it was in her best interest to find her a place where she could be an only child, get all the attention, get mm -hmm. all the love because 
she needed that like after having to hide like being so scared of the dogs and like when I had Bubba she was fine like she would like be out all the time and be like cuddling and stuff but once I got Dewey like for some reason they both just teamed up and started like attacking mm -hmm. her all the time and I couldn't stop them and I tried to be like the dominant one I like looked at stuff online and like she wouldn't have made it, she would not be happy here living here yeah so it's better for her she's and... happier now like that is what happened to her yeah she we didn't just like throw her on the street no Kayla we didn't awesome. we didn't post it on the vlog because we got shit in our group our own Facebook group yeah because same. we wanted somebody A better life for her yeah and then people are like, well, you're abandoning your cat and you're, you're giving up the, on her. You're and picking the dogs over the cat. It's and like, like, no, we're... So it's like, all right, we'll keep the cat and then we'll get rid of the dogs. And you're like, well, you're picking your cat over your like dogs. like you couldn't keep them both and the cat was miserable. Like, she yeah. really needed to be an only child. But we just had to do what was best for her. The and dynamic wasn't working, so... It wasn't. And it's not like... I mean, I adopted her because I wanted to, like... She was adopted from the humane society like i wanted to save her i wanted to give her a good home i couldn't provide that for her so i found her one and that's the end of it like she has the best life now with kayla and her mm -hmm. husband we are gonna finish up at the dog park here how are you doing there dewey he's like hiding you want this you want the ball dewey go get it go get it mm, he's not that interested in he's it he's like over it today we'll show you the fries when we get home chillax and chillax come here So fries are complete. They look uh, very yummy nummy. Very Lots yummy, of yummy, uh, yummy. fries there. Sauce of choice right now is the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. Then we also got this sauce, which is almost kind of like the red pepper cheese sauce, but without the nuts and stuff or the hemp seeds. Let's use fat free hummus. That's what, that's what it was. I'm getting my ass whooped in Skippa right now because Hannah did not shuffle the cards. It's your job as well. So we're just gonna finish eating up, play some skip bow, and move along with our lives. This is the end of another day. Another day in life inside a box. We're almost up to 100. We're at like 78, I think, now. What? 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 Have a good night, guys. Talk to you soon.